expand this lockdown browser. It's supposed to prevent students from using programs such as screen capture and remote desktop to keep them from cheating. One such program is VNC, which I'm now launching. As I start Respondus Lockdown Browser, it will prompt me to close VNC before the session can begin, as is now shown. Before we do any further tests, let's verify that some components of Windows are working. So this is a task manager. Control Alt Delete. Shut down Windows and Alt F4. Now the browser is supposed to prevent students from using instant messaging programs as well, such as AIM. In this session, I'm going to test that by running an open source program called Pigeon, a little bit less commonly used than the typical proprietary counterparts, but it, but it will do the job just as well, if not better if it ever starts up. Being a little slow. Oh, it's MSN that's giving it, giving it some trouble. So let's just cancel that. We can live without it. Now I'm going to exploit the browser by launching two applications at one time. I open Respondus and immediately open AVG Anti-Spyware, which I'm going to use a little bit later. As you can see, AVG opened right up right on top of the secure environment. And I didn't get anything about, oh look, an instant message. Name is censored for privacy reasons. Hey, want some help with that exam? Sure. What's the answer to number one? Now our friend is going to is going to get us an answer, or at least type something up. As you can see, the the browser is not preventing me from using an instant messaging program like it should. Any day now. Hang on, let me check let me look it up real quick. Meanwhile, here's a link to get you started. Let's click this Google link and see what happens. As you can see, I just opened up Firefox right on top of the secure environment. While the browser is not going to let me have me browse to any other pages, I can use Firefox to load any page on the internet that I like. All I need to do is click this link and it will launch my default browser, in this case Firefox. Let's thank our friend. There's no problem. And since we're not really in interested in cheating, let's close the instant message window. Now, what happens if this, if this uh, browser malfunctions? Well, first, uh, first let's let's make note that the task manager is disabled. Control Alt Delete, disabled, and uh, and the browser immediately closes that window. Now let's force it to quit with this anti-spyware program. The reason I opened in the first place to simulate what would happen if it crashes. As you notice, the start bar is gone. And let's try some of those typical Windows operations, such as Control Alt Delete. It is still disabled. Alt F4. Shockingly, that worked. It has never worked right for me before when, use, when using the browser. I guess they must have patched it in this version. But we'll, t but we'll check in as soon as Windows starts back up, just to be sure. Might be a lag or something. In the event that the screen goes blank, I'm going to I'm going to pause the video and start it back up as soon as as soon as this monitor gets hits a single again. Just a heads up. Okay, I'll see you all back in a few minutes.
Welcome back, everyone. Let's just wait for Windows to finish starting up before we continue. Hopefully today. I have a bunch of anti-malware things on here. I personally can never be too cautious. Still starting up. CPU usage is at about a hundred percent. Any minute now. Okay, looks like it's about ready. Let's see if we can start the task manager by right clicking the start bar. It's still grayed out. Clicking on it does nothing. Control alt delete. Didn't get much didn't get too far there either. Looks like it looks like it disabled the shutdown. Can't properly shut down Windows. Let's try Alt F4. Okay, I guess the computer's not ready. Still start hiding up a few applications. Give it a few seconds. Okay, let's try that again. I guess it's still disabled. Alt F4 says returns an error that it, that the operation was canceled due to res, due to restrictions in effect on this computer. Now let's get around that. I'm going to I'm going to create a shortcut by right clicking the desktop, new shortcut and for the location of the item I am going to type shutdown dash s dash t zero which means to force it to shut down and in times zero let's name it force shutdown uh, this, that's a pretty ugly icon let's right click it choose properties Change icon. And this looks like a much more appropriate icon. Apply and OK. And now when we want to shut down Windows, we just double click this. And it will immediately force Windows to shut down, regardless regardless of, if, of if me not having privileges to shut down my own computer. Thank you everyone for watching my video, and to make sure your instructors know if you, do, if you have problems using the Respondus Lockdown Browser.